Dining, golf courses, tennis courts, an arcade. Seascape Villa seemed like the place to be to me. I mean, I had a great time. I enjoyed my vacation. There was a lot to do. The beach is probably about a five minute walk and you can see it off in the distance off the balcony and it looks very good back there. And then the other thing is they got eight complexes at Seascape. So I stayed in Ariel Dunes. It was a high rise condo, but it was actually a resort. So you get kind of both in one. So it feels like you get the privacy as if you live there, but you also have the convenience aspect of having the concierge and everything as if it's a resort. So that's nice. Uh, second thing is the different complexes, like I said. So I was walking down on the lake. Yeah, they got a lake on the side of the golf course. It's real poetic and beautiful and all that good stuff. But they got some villas down there that's on top of the lake. So you got the lake right there, the golf course, and then you got the ocean up in the distance on the private Seascape Beach. What is there to do near Seascape Resort? That's a good question and I'm glad you asked. There's a lot to do. One of the very most important things being Crab Island, which is one of the popular tourist destinations nearby. So to access Crab Island, you just head right down to the Destin Harbor Boardwalk, find you a vendor or a boat to rent right around there, and you head out to Crab Island. What else is there to do? You can go fishing. How do you get there? You go right down to the same place, like you would rent a boat to go to Crab Island, and you find one of the guys to go fishing. The Seascape Private Beach has some nice water, so you definitely gotta check that out as well. Uh, but you're definitely close to a lot of grocery stores. You're right down the street from the outlets. I mean, everything you need is in close proximity, so you're in a great location. Last thing I want to highlight is the beach bar at Royal Palm Grill. So if you want to get a drink in as late at night and you don't feel like driving or catching the Uber, this is a great spot. And even if it's during the day, it sits right on the beach. It's tucked on the beautiful white sand and beautiful blue water. Check it out.